In this video we're going to look at covering a maraca or a rain stick with paper mache. So depending on which one of those you made, um, you'll be covering it the same way. So I'm just going to be showing you how to cover a, a maraca with paper mache, but doing the rain stick would be the same. But what you're going to do first is I like to cover the ends, the two ends first. So for that, that's the one place where I like to have a big piece. Most of the pieces that you do, that you use, need to be the size of the palm of your hand or smaller. But these are the two places that you're going to use something bigger. So you want something big enough that it can cover that whole end. So. I'm going to dip that in my mixture of flour, water, and salt, and you can check out the video on that if you need to make that. But it's just a cup of flour, a little bit of salt, a tablespoon or two, and some water until it's pancake thickness. But what I'm going to do, once I've dipped that and wiped it off so it's not drippy, is I'm going to put that over the end and I'm going to try to smooth that down. So I'm going to put my hands over the sides and try to smooth it down to get a smooth surface. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. The reason that you want to do the ends first is one, they're those big pieces that we want to cover that's one reason but the other reason is that then once I cover the in, once I start covering the in-between places the in-between places are gonna hold down those big pieces so these little pieces these palm size pieces that I'm using are gonna hold those big pieces down so that's why I want to do those ends first. So I did some pieces around to hold that end down. I'm going to flip it back over again and I'm going to do that same thing. So I'm actually putting pieces on the side now and see how my big piece drooped over the sides. So what I'm trying to do is cover that up and that's going to help to hold those big end pieces down. And if you're asking yourself, if you're asking, like, well, why am I bothering to cover this with paper mache, Mr. Siler? The reason you cover things with paper mache is because the tape is only going to hold it together for a little while, and then that tape's going to lose its stickiness. So the paper mache will hold it together for as long as you keep it and as long as you take care of it. Another reason to cover it with paper mache aside from just durability is also because paper mache will make it a paintable surface and most of the times in art class after we do paper mache we'll paint them. Unfortunately we're not in art class so we can't really paint them unless you happen to have paint at home but the nice thing about covering this with paper is that you could use other art mediums to color them so you could color them with markers you could color them with colored pencils. You could collage over them so you could get some magazine paper, some construction paper, some junk mail um, that has more colorful paper than what I'm using here and you could cover it with that. So you have some options of ways that you can give these some color. So I have this part here where mine is transitioning from the water bottle to the handle. So what I'm actually changing here is I'm going to do a few pieces that touch both of those kind of like my tape did. And the reason I'm doing that is that's going to make sure that those stay together. So I'm kind of using some skinny pieces to cover that. And that's just to try to ensure that it holds itself together. So those pieces of newspaper are kind of working like permanent tape. So I'm have, making sure that I have pieces that touch the handle 
and the bottle. But your main goal with this paper mache is to get the entire surface covered so that in the end all we see is your paper whatever kind of paper you use. You don't, if you have newspaper I like newspaper because it's thin and it's flexible um, but if you don't have newspaper you can use printer paper, you can use notebook paper any paper you might have laying around your house. But once I've got everything covered then I'm gonna put this in a place where it can dry. It'll take about one day to two days to dry depending on how wet you made it. So stick it in a place where it can be left alone and dry and in about one to two days you should have your dry maraca or rain stick. Have a great day. Happy making!